Um, but Marjorie and her team have done an incredible job of kind of figuring out where are the most important races, where is it, it just absolutely mission critical for the pro-life movement to engage. So Marjorie, can you tell us what's at stake this year? Sure, I'd love to start big and then go um, to the narrow um, because that's where the real decisions and the real, um, where the winds come and the narrow targeting of, 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 um, of voters. But I, I think we ought to do a little bit of reflecting in this moment in the period of time that we have between now and election day and think about all the other successful human rights movements in, the, in, our, in American history and what held them up right before they succeeded. And almost all of them that you can remember or that you studied, there was a, a utilitarian reason, some sort of really kind of convincing reason for a lot of people not to change. Uh, for instance, and, and often it was economic reasons or it could be political reasons. So to give um, uh, African Americans the right to vote, was a complete redistribution of political power in the United States. Give women the right to vote, the same. Um, when child labor laws changed, it changed the economics of um, very poor and marginal areas uh, that um, for the families and for the and for industries. And so there was always a reason. There's a similar reason, of course, for um, uh, and written into uh, Supreme Court decisions about why we are hesitating at the helm of a, huge, of a revolution when it comes to abortion law and this great humanitarian cause that we're all helping lead together. And that is what, um, what Supreme Court Justice uh, Sandra Day O'Connor said, um, which gets repeated over and over. There are principles enshrined in Supreme Court decisions, but, but basically what she said is echoed everywhere. And it's that we've, we've come to organize our lives around the fact that we have abortion as an, as an option um, when we, uh, we women and men get into a situation that we uh, want to move out of. We organize our lives around this reality and it would be incredibly disruptive to change this thing. Now, the only way out of any of these situations is that culture, our American um, values enshrined in our constitutional documents, uh, came into fruition, they came into the light. We, we started to embrace those and see that those principles were far more important than a temporary disruption of how people were ordering their economic or their social lives at that point. And that is exactly where we are right now. 